Hi guys, I know you have been enjoying this series so far, but I'm so sorry I haven't been able to post like I was posting before because I've been so tired, you guys. UK, <laughs> UK, UK is after my life essentially. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah um i told my husband to make a video of the apartment when he first arrived you guys were aware that he arrived before us so i just told him to make a video because i know that by the time my kids and i arrive i might not have time to make a video of this apartment you know the way it is we might have scattered it by the time i you know get to making the video so yeah that is why he's the one that made the video you guys should pardon how the video looks he's not a youtuber and he used his phone and it was getting dark okay so the video might not be all that but i just want to give you guys an idea of what the temporary apartment looks like basically okay so yeah enjoy okay at the end of this video i'm going to show you when we got into the house and you know how we our first night in the house basically okay but yeah for right now just enjoy a tour of the apartment okay so once you enter the apartment on the right you see a small study a small home office and let me tell you guys this house is furnished to a t everything you are looking for in a house is in this house like every single thing okay except a laptop basically <laughs> like in the office except a laptop but you have printer you have shredder you have um, books all kinds of books okay um, whoever decorated this house is obvious that the person is a little bit obsessed with clocks okay so you're going to see a lot of clocks in this whole house store but yeah so this is the entrance i love that picture you know yeah whatever and this is the guest bathroom or guest toilet um yeah just simple nothing much to see here um this is the is it the, is it the boiler room they call this anyway that's the where the boiler is and that's the ladder you have a ladder and you have a vacuum cleaner okay so it's a two bedroom apartment this is the first bedroom or the second bedroom anyhow i want to look at it but this is the smaller bedroom this is where my kids are going to stay um yeah it's that's, it's okay i mean it's so small <laughs> that was the first shocker of my life they tell you that uk houses are small and you you actually said that oh uk houses are small <laughs> it's when you see that you understand what they mean by uk houses are small um this is another kind of clock very eccentric design and then this is the main bedroom where my husband and i are staying um yeah they have tons of storage everywhere which is good okay so a lot of things are actually in this house because the house is small but they have tons of storage uh yeah they're also obsessed with mirrors kind of yeah you will see that as we go along but this is the bedroom you know side drawers this is the bathroom very tiny like very when i say tiny i mean very very tiny so yeah this is the bedroom that we are staying in just a simple bedroom nothing much to see you know here and um, that's the wardrobe that's cloth hanger there extra pillows extra beddings extra everything um now this view you guys this is one of the best parts of this apartment this view from my bedroom like literally from my bedroom in fact from my side of the bed you have this patio or whatever i want to call this outdoor out, outdoor sitting area and this is the view guys my husband did not even capture this view very well but this view is stunning like during the day it is really really stunning i love it anyway let's have close the window before one creep will go there and be looking at us from the from, from outside <laughs> um but yeah so this is the living room it has dimmable lights um more mirrors um a fireplace all, all the fireplaces are electric you have white couch in this frame i like the frame but i don't like the curtains in this living room i don't understand i don't i don't get it like it's so hideous <laughs> like what the hell <laughs> it takes away from the house a lot the first time i entered i was like i was shocked Funny enough, i had seen it on in pictures i think i don't even know if i took note of the curtains but when i entered the house i say eh i'm getting a few here so this is um a small storage area as well 
Um, you have ironing board, you have duster, you have vacuum cleaner, you have mop, brush, iron, iPhone container, <laughs> iPhone carton. A lot of things are here. This seems like someone's house, actually. Um, yeah, that is another clock again. It's like it can't. It's, it's not big enough. They should they should increase it. Eh? It's not big enough. This is the dining and the kitchen area. I like the kitchen area actually. Like hmm, it's 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 not. I mean, it's not it's not as small as I thought it was going to be. It's actually quite spacious. It actually looks smaller in pictures than it is in real life. Um, yeah, so it's not that small. It's okay. All the cupboards have you know things in it. Everything you will need to live in this house, it is available. When I say everything, I mean everything. I mean except food they give us you know some breakfast stuff but you know there's no actual food this is the fridge um the freezer of the fridge is quite small which is what i think is obtainable here in the uk so i put some things inside the freezer when i got there more glasses more cups drink away this is an empty storage so i put some of our uh, cooking stuff there like some of our things i came with i put them there more plates more stuff um yeah so there's a dryer there's a washing machine there's a, a microwave there's a dishwasher there is a bread container <laughs> i was like okay this is extra extra Funny enough, I like the idea, but it's not practical. I know myself, I, I, I will not put spread inside. It will just be decoration. Um, the sink is small, but yeah. So under here, you have all kinds of cleaning products. When I say all kinds, I mean all kinds of cleaning products. That's when I knew that. Ah, so wash cloths, not the only soap. Oh. There's soap, there's the this, the that, the washing this, the washing that. There's a lot of things that you use to wash clothes pots pans all kinds of pots all kinds of pans all shapes of pots all shapes of pans it's actually so nice how many things are in this house okay um like everything you need to prepare any kind of food any quantity of food <laughs> well except like big party food but any type of food you want to prepare just know that the gadget is there the pot is there this is a rice cooker or a pressure cooker i'm not sure um all kinds of blenders food processor, baking pans, baking sheets, baking trays, you know, glass baking dishes, like a lot of things. And that's the dining, you know, yeah, this was my favorite part in the house because I spent most time there or I spent most of my time there. Again, this hideous curtain is like, what the hell? Who, who thought about this? Whose bright idea was this? <laughs> but yeah, that's the tour of the house. Um, Really nice. I mean, it's seven is purples, and we were really enjoying ourselves here. Okay, everybody, come and sit. Hi. Finally, we are here. Everybody, just relax, okay? Okay. Yeah, I think so. So this is our frozen food. Everything nice, everything still frozen. Nothing has even melted, not even slightly. Like, and this is over 24 hours since we packed it though. What's over? This is going to two days now. Um, baby, please, can you just let me remove this thing? Can just turn it upside down? So I can come out. Huh. So, this is my frozen food. It's still cold, very, very cold. And there's no water dropping from it, which is fantastic. So, that means we have soup to eat now, now. Anybody that wants to eat ever. This is another one, a goosey soup. But let me look for the smaller plates. So this is my vegetable soup. See, it still has ice in it. Still quite frozen. So I need to warm it now. 